Hi, it's me, the Science Baby. The summer days are getting hotter, and that means I've got lots of opportunity to show off my adorable thigh creases. But it also means that moms and dads everywhere have a new source of anxiety. Is my baby too hot? How do I dress them for bed? Why is it so hard to get right? My mum and dad have had the same struggle, and I've had heat rash in the past from getting too warm, but at the same time get grumpy if my hands and feet get too cold. All of this comes about because babies are just not very good at regulating their own temperature. The general rule is that, to keep them warm, newborns should be dressed in one layer more than you. That's because they have proportionally more skin surface for their size than adults do, so they lose heat through that skin faster. Have you ever noticed how a small cup of coffee gets cold faster than a big one? Yeah, it's basically that. A baby loses heat four times faster than a grown-up. Normally, adults shiver to warm themselves up, but a baby's muscles aren't so well developed, so this isn't as effective in a little body. And grown-ups have fat to keep them warm, which is another thing my little body's lacking. Although I am working on it, my leg creases are evidence of that. When it's hot though, the situation's reversed. Adults mainly sweat to cool themselves down, but babies can't do that as easily either. Their sweat glands are all developed when they're born, but they don't switch on straight away after birth. A baby will first produce a little bit of odorless sweat from the palms of their hands, the soles of their feet, and their forehead. But this is practically nothing compared to what grown-ups are capable of. It won't be until baby's about four months old that they start to sweat more. And there's a whole other group of sweat glands that don't even turn on until puberty. Those are the ones that make smelly sweat. The main reason that teenagers smell and babies smell sweet. Oh, and our sweat glands are super tiny, so it's easy for them to get blocked, leading to heat rash. Case in point, my face. So, in the hot weather, it's important to keep an eye on baby's temperature, especially at night, by checking on their chest or on the back of their necks. Dress them in trendy short-sleeve outfits, or just let them feel a breeze in their birthday suit. And let those thigh creases free.